What I find so extraordinary is that this woman was highly, highly intelligent. Uh, she wrote books that young people adored. Uh, she was very honest about her feelings. She wrote a, a fabulous blog yeah. when she lost her husband and she wrote a book about it. Um, and yet she was so smart in some ways and so dumb in others. Not dumb, that's a rather cruel thing to say, but naive, I think, yeah. naive. Uh, and it's almost as if she didn't want to believe he was capable of that. And, of course, now we know that for uh, months before she died, he'd been drugging her with sleeping pills and she'd been saying to people, I don't know, I feel tired all the time, I don't know why. Yeah, she Googled it and everything, hadn't she, to look at why she was tired all the time. Yeah, mm. and chilling. this man, not only uh, was he so cold and calculating, he, having killed her, he killed her dog too. And that, I just found that, oh... Awful, but then having said that, how many of us know the people where we, you know, where we is? I mean, speaking from my own experience, there's uh, uh, there was an episode in my life where I met someone and I thought they were absolutely fantastic, really good fun to be with, and then suddenly one day they flipped, and I saw another side of them that I had no knowledge of. Mm. I had no indication that they were violent, controlling. Um, absolutely vile and, um, you know, quite frightening. Yeah. And as the moment passed, I thought, did that really happen to me? Mm. Yeah. And then you look for a reason in yourself. And how long into the relationship was that? Well, it was think? about two months. Oh, quite soon into the relationship. Yeah, but then, then I thought, that didn't really happen, did it? Mm. We were in a hotel room somewhere and he had a complete meltdown about something really stupid, like an apple on a shelf. And he went, right, that's it, I'm not getting out of bed. I thought, <laughs> are you mad? Mm. And now, looking back, I can't believe that I said, oh, OK, maybe you're not feeling so well. I think and you I do excuse yeah. him in that first six months to a year. You, you do see little signs, I think, but I think in that first throes mm. of emotion and passion, I think and you'll you have excuse it, you know, them. you've got your sex life is great and you're thinking, oh, well, you know, it's all gorgeous. Mm. So incidents happen. It's only looking back now I could see a pattern yeah. of behaviour, yeah. which was, you know, if he didn't get his way, he would melt down. Ooh. And the meltdown was just instant. And having said that, I have worked with men who are like that too, who uh, were bosses that I worked for who suddenly have... I had no knowledge of that this particular boss was like that, and suddenly he started destroying everything on his desk. And mm. I thought, I can't believe that's just happened. But it was a split personality. Yeah.